Hey folks, welcome back to this multiplayer Let's Play of Stellaris. I'm Perry. And I'm Kev. And we are continuing our march forward. I just discovered that my ring, first segment of Ringworld is finished. Yay! Which means second segment begins. Yay! 15,000 minerals go, go goodbye. Yeah, that's not a big, a big of a deal. Well, that's... Yeah, the full ring, the four sections of the ring world are sixty thousand, and then this. That's on top of the base cost of. But anyways, it's it is ultimately very trivial, yeah. Lots of yummy tiles to colonize. Oh, that's a good spot. <laughs> and naturally, all of the science ships from my neighboring empires are suddenly here, surveying the new habitable planet. Would be fun though if you could actually get something out of survey. Oh, get, you know, get something out of yeah. yeah. Anomaly discovered. <laughs> Ancient space wreck. Uh, how did this happen? <laughs> Research complete. It is fun to see that behavior, though, because it means that from the player's perspective or the game's perspective, it really is just reading it as a brand new planet. Build a ring world. Just put mining stations in orbit. Confuse everyone. Emperor, why did we build this thing? Because we could. Why aren't we settling it? Because we can. But, but I don't, it doesn't make any sense. That's it. We're trying to confuse everyone. This med crash primes. And I guess I should send out more droids, but oh well. These aren't the droids I'm looking for. I see what you mean. They're over here scanning my habitats too. Uh. Yeah, curious little guys, aren't they? Yeah, that's one word for it. Annoying little guys? <laughs> Pestilential little guys? I don't know. Be gone, pests. You are the fly, and I am the fly swatter. Uh, sir, we 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 kind of tested that, and we think we we need a better motto. That one's pretty lame. It's like every survey ship in the galaxy is rushing to that system as fast as they can. Construction complete. Leisure district. Yes. Okay, that's ones. Okay. Definitely worth building. actually hoping that this traditions concept they put into the game 
that they take it a step further. And basically, for each one of these, each one of the traditions they currently have, they should actually give you choices between opposing ideas. You know, for expansion is about building wide. Put in something there, and instead enables you to build your empire taller with your planets and, and things like that. I think that would really unlock the full potential of that. It's also possibly focusing on something, so what I said was of no value. Hmm? Ah, yeah. I guess yes, right. Was... Don't worry about it. No, I'm sure you had a ground plan that I didn't do. <clears throat> that I didn't listen to. See what I'm working with here, folks? <laughs> well, I heard you talk about the changing of the tradition, but I didn't quite pick up what, because I was still trying to get trying to figure out what the heck to do with that habitat. Build all so the there. My solution for the habitat is straightforward. I build all the culture things. Incoming transmission. If I feel like it, I might put a couple of a couple of the uh, sciencey things on them, but then I fill up the rest with just with the power generators. Influence. Need influence so badly. What's influence? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, integrating all these mini puts is draining my influence rather significantly. Why can't there be more dragons to kill? I wouldn't know. You killed the last one. Sir, we ran out of planets to colonize. Well, that's simple. Let's build some new ones. What? Ah, oh, that's why I couldn't settle the habitat. You found it unsettling? Not, not, not enough influence. The one downside of using habitats is they do cost a fair amount just to build. Well, then you have to settle them afterwards, so yeah. Yep. But about 105 influence per item, so it's... If you can afford it, it's a great method to go, but eventually you can't. Or it slows down at least. I miss the good old days when I could build mining bases and stuff and actually routinely fulfill my, my elected ruler's mandate and get, Colonization. get free chunks of it. So, nope. Can't do you that still anymore. can. You just, 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 just destroy a few of um, the mining stations you need and rebuild them. I tested that once. It didn't work. Oh. What, what did you do before the election? Might destroy work. Destroy five of each. I haven't got, thought that far ahead on it, but it's... You have me for then. Mm -hmm. You do all the good thinking. So I well, think good. Although you do need to hire me out to be your military advisor for fighting Hall and Empires. Shush. Oh come on, my tact, my my advice worked like a charm for you. Especially putting the uh, construction the space station with the, the hyperspace snare right in the middle of your fleet. Oh, that poor, that poor, poor fallen empire fleet. It, it went poof. Construction complete. How tempted to tell my sectors to focus on food just to get, 
just to I have a feeling that I have tons of planets with no population simply because they're not saving food. So maybe the next time, next empire, I'll just eat instead. Probably be beneficial. I have the other problem of I have more food than I could ever hope to deal with. Complete. Incoming transmission. <laughs> I just want the, the number to stop jumping all over the place. Because from negative to plus 200 to plus 50, plus, yeah, it just jumps all over the place. So assuming that the sector, sector AI is shuffling his people back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, something fierce. It's just doing that to drive you crazy. Yes. And it's succeeding. Oh, yes. Therefore, it's fun. devoured somewhere. Um, yum. Let's see. Species, modifies. At high vine, I'm going to remember that now. Join the mind. Join us. Join us. What else did he give us that we don't need? Some rubber ships. Delito. <laughs> Deleted. Actually, little ship go over here. Sending one of my destroyers over to watch the, uh, see if I can watch part of the Fallen Empire War. Probably can't, but it's worth the, worth the side excursion. Established. My first colonized Ringworld. Now a spaceport. Good. I don't need any food on this silly place, so... At all. Ever. Dang it, where did you have a frontier outpost? Here. Well, I don't need a frontier outpost there. Kaboom. <laughs> Big bada kaboom. Go and build a ring world. Fill it full of mines. Because reasons. Oh, well, that's what. Okay. Um. Huh. I need epigenetic triggers. Is but I'll have to make these pre sentience food. I'm trying to avoid that. It's, you're, it's admirable for you to be a hive mind that's going vegan. Good, I can't see them. Ooh, good. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. So that cruiser I dispatched to go kind of see if I could watch the Fallen Empire War actually has the sensor range to see what's going on. So 
the citizen state of Hentaka and the nation of Kormath have their combined fleet bombarding this one planet. And it's 21k, 13k, 16k, so that's what, 250k fleet Colony total. Established. Well, the Fallen Empire sent both of their fleets to come over and say hi. They've got 85k Fallen Empire tech arriving on scene. But this is going to, I think, be a slaughter. Yeah, 30 Fallen Empire battleships. 52 Fallen Empire destroyers. Oh god, 30 Fallen Empire battleships versus 17 opponent battleships. Sounds like fun. I'm glad to sit here, be able to sit here and watch. <laughs> One thing gives me a good idea what, what everyone's using weapon-wise. Okay, so my neighbor is using kinetics. 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 Huh. So how am I going to integrate these guys? Hmm, that's going to be difficult. Oh, oh my goodness, this is... It's a bad day to be the... Uh, the uh... <laughs> to be the Federation fighting these Fallen Empire. Oh? Oh yeah, they've lost significant percentage of their fleet and they haven't killed a ship yet. Well, they might have killed a couple of destroyers, but... I actually don't recognize the main weapon the Fallen Empire is using. It's a purple beam weapon of some sort. Then it looks like they're also primarily using torpedoes. I have to remember though that that Fallen Empire hasn't awoken yet. I know. But neither of the neighbors they're fighting are actually very technologically advanced. Yeah, the Fallen Empire can't take much in the way of lost ships. But right now it's just chewing through the opponent's fleet like it makes me warm and happy. Two of the three, all three of the alien... Oh my, they also use heavy fighters. There's absolutely giant wall of... Fight. So the Fallen Empire lost... Uh, I said there were 50 destroyers or so, so they lost seven destroyers total. Wiped out about half of the, uh, the Federation fleet they were up against. Yeah, you're the exciting things. Instead, I'm looking at the graphical glitch. Graphical glitch? Some sort. Yeah, just there we go. There it went away. Just had two little green lines on the map. Not sure where they came from. Oh well. They're probably sensor, sensor, uh, sensor radii. I've got a couple of those there, and they're little tiny gaps in my sensor radius that uh, enough to generate one line segment for each, but not enough to actually do anything. It's without meaning at the same time, it's just like, okay. Chip designer, where are my listening posts? Have I actually upgraded those listening posts? Much better. I'd forgotten to upgrade my listening posts. I can see a lot further now. I can see clearly now the fog is gone. Uh huh. I can see all the obstacles. Anyways. In that case, I hope your listening posts are on the other side of the galaxy and not towards me. What's that? I'd hate to be an obstacle for you. Actually, um, what the heck is that? Just the way things have aligned, there are very few planets on our actual border. It's just a very large gap between them. Very considerate of that high kingdom to exist between us. Very considerate. 
13 more cruisers. Oh, that's right, new planet was colonized. Almost forgot. Must clear tiles. Wait, what? What? I'm just. I had forgotten I'd put down another colony ship on the planet I hadn't colonized yet. Oh, no, we still have to. I, okay, yeah. I, I still have a ton of planets I haven't colonized. Yeah, I was just thinking, yeah, I had to actually still do the action. I was like, well, what do we need to do? Clear time blockers, given that you have. Oh, I'd, I, I'd yeah. love for it to be automated and I just go click, but <laughs> queue them all up at once. But... No such luck on that. And I produce so much food that now my, the planets I've been colonizing recently, I just automatically build other things on top of the food icons. It's like... Plow Yender. Oh, the East Civilizations. Why can't it vault at the Industrial Age? I can enlighten you. <sighs> I don't want to make you my subjects. Because that will cost even more influence. Oh, it can't cost too much of something you don't have. Yeah, there's that. Sadly, that least this last subject is going to be a bit tricky to uh, integrate. Oh, I'll just like minus two hundred twenty-five modifier for genocidal. Oh yeah, they're probably a little upset with that. And another minus one hundred for being an autocracy. You might just be better off killing them. Yeah, thinking about it. Five. We have trade deals with you too. I don't know what they're trading you for, but you mess over it. Should show it. Oh, well, the, the people on our south, the uh, pro, pro, uh, Prosnakin. Hmm? What about them? Are they the people you're looking at, or the which trade deal were you looking Tile at? Tile blocker cleared. I don't know. They one of my subject states. What, oh, the Sibulon Sovereignty? Or is it someone else? Nope, the other one. Rixi Democratic Sib Domains. You have so yeah, many, I, it's, I can't... I've been removing quite a few of them. <laughs> the committee is being eaten at the moment. But then, then it'll only be one yeah. left. The, Demogra the Democratic Domains just paid me large sums of minerals for some of my strategic resources, so it's... Need more battleships. Always useful. Fleet strength now at 186k. Oh my goodness. They're not taking the home world from the, uh, the, uh, the watchers here on the western border. Not anytime soon. Oh? Oh, I can see their home world and. They have so many armies. So if I can even count them. Construction complete. Construction. Hmm. They've probably, you know, they basically have 20, 24 defending armies on the surface and then six psionic armies in orbit. Plus two 10k so. space, space fortresses in orbit. It's. That's not a pretty system of attack if you're not ready. Okay, so habitats. Yes. They don't show up on the planet list. Yes, they do. Well, they show up on the habitat list. They have, oh, there's a separate list. For, okay, yes, never mind. Mm -hmm. They get their own. They get their own. We're not really a planet planet list. And they can't build ships. They cannot build a spaceport. No, so that's their one, one big trade-off on them. In the grand scheme of things, though, it's not that ba bad a trade-off. I, I don't think. I mean, your mileage might vary. Uh, shared world. We haven't given you a new, your race a new planet in a while. Construct. 
construction complete. Okay, I'm confused here. I thought the amount of food above zero, or positive, increased the growth rate, but that's not the case. As long as it's positive growth. Construction complete. Are you saying that as long as the number is positive, it has the it has the benefit? Doesn't matter how much. Construction. Complete. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder about that because I'm looking at one of the growth species while my food and my food number goes up and down like a yo-yo, but the number on the planet is quite constant. Well, it doesn't look at the planet number; it looks at the uh, at the empire number. Yeah, but you know what I mean. I'm looking at the pop and the growth rate on the tooltip there. Yes. This is plus 1.06 per month. And the food number varies all the time. Yeah, but if you if you look at the tooltip for food, the uh, it contributes to growth if the stockpile is full. So if the number is fluctuating like crazy, as long as the stockpile stays full, it's not going to change the, the growth rate. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense I'll then. I mean, it's harder for me to tell at this point. But that's part of the reason why I think I have the the supply that I do is because my people don't eat food anymore. Yeah, that's true, because you're robotic. Have you managed to get the last trade trade yet, by the way? Uh, not yet. <laughs> no, no little high kingdom, I am not going to support you on Research that. Complete. Our neighbor, they, want. they wanted to declare, wanted me to, to help them declare war on you. You don't say. <laughs> it's like, funny little guys, like I was going to do that. It's like, you keep going to the east and south. I'm wanting to go to the west and south. Maybe some point when we meet in the middle of the citizen state of Hentaka, then we can talk, think about it. But right now, I'm perfectly happy. And anyways, it's, it's that time again. Okay. I guess we'll take a short break here. Alrighty, folks. Thanks for watching.